Hello, welcome to August's Gardening Collab. All the other channels involved, their links are in the description box and they'll be uploading their videos anytime the last week of August. I'm filming mine about a week early because we've got a lot of things on next week but it will be out at the right time. Um, what can I tell you? I've done a lot of planning for next year already. I, I've done my my onion order, my pea seed order, my potato seed order because the guy on the committee at the allotment said that they com it comes from Holland, which I didn't know. But apparently, there's a shortage in Holland because of poor crops and things. So he's doing the orders for next year early to give us a chance of getting it. I've not been down for about a week, so, <laughs> so look, all these all these runners off these strawberries need to come off. But look, these are my potatoes. I have got more potatoes further down, which I didn't put in until a lot later, so they're not ready yet. But I think these are ready, look, they look dead. <laughs> but I don't know how many potatoes I'm going to get, because one, most of them didn't even come up. I used I used proper seed potatoes for the, the patch further down, but for this patch I used these potatoes that I saved from last year, and the roots were massive on them. And also, I've hammered this bit for potatoes. Next year I'm not planting potatoes here, I'm planting potatoes further down, which I'll show you in a minute. So we'll dig them up, we'll see if I've got anything. It'd be disappointing if I haven't, because normally potatoes are me one foolproof thing, and that, that and peas. And we did get a lot of peas and onions this year, but we'll dig them up and see how we do. Pudge and bean are up there, not pudge and bean, bean and bodder up there trying to get apples and blackberries. Three apples, we'll give them Mama, she likes apple pie. Me and Pudge are try, trying to dig potatoes up, but we've got Pinky and we've got Jasper. <laughs> you know what we're interested in? We found not many, but we found a couple of potatoes under where there was no where the potato plants hadn't even come up. So this we've got one, dirty paws. It's all right, here, wash. Anyway, dry muck will just fall off him on my own. He's having a lovely time. He's all nippy. Be careful of your hands when he's all nippy. <laughs> Mad puppy. I know Dig him out! Dig him out! <laughs> He's not doing it now, right? He was, he was desperately trying to dig a hole. Wait. Dig him out! Dig him out! Okay. Get them taters! Dig him out! Dig him out! <laughs> dig him out! Dig him out! Oh, don't eat it! I'll take you up there, look. For a tint bag. I've got two more so far. What's up, Ping? Ignore all weeds. I've been down for a week. I've been having lots of messing about with midwife and stuff um, oh, and, we, and our puppy is old enough to walk now so we're taking him for walks <laughs> that, all them onions have been cropped out and we've got loads of onions these are Bod's onions, they haven't grown very big compared to Beanie's onions but I'm still going to pick some before we go they're all tomato plants, there's a couple of aubergine plants in there and the aubergine plants are doing well but I think the tomatoes are probably a waste of time this year but Next year I can use my green ass. Now this tree, all the bottom branches were dead long and they were going over the plot and over next door and him next door with his head on one. <laughs> so we lent Gabriel, my oldest, some tools. We haven't picked all the bits up yet. Look, my oldest trimmed it and he did a very good job and it's ever so neat at the bottom now and then it's very full at the top. And... Do you remember me telling you that the bottom of the plot was totally covered in barn weed and I was losing my mind? Well, I've decided to cover it and then raise bed it next year. And this is what I've got two so far. I was planning on covering all the cover with like bits of bark to make it look neater before I showed you. But we've got a few expenses this month, so I can't buy the bark yet. But I've got... Um, that raised bed was a no-dig raised bed with just wood round it, but the beetroot failed. Hi, Pinky. Yeah, darling. The beetroot failed, and I thought it wasn't because it wasn't deep enough. So I made it Hi, bigger with bricks. Hi, Pink. <laughs> I made it bigger with bricks, and we're putting muck in it. It's very slow going because I'm heavily pregnant, and I'm finding this pregnancy Everybody tough. So we've got two baths there, a big tire, two more baths. 
that was a cupboard that somebody left outside their ass and it had been there weeks so in the end it says can I have it and I said yeah and then I couldn't move it because it's solid so this old man helped me <laughs> Um, I haven't covered that bit yet because it's got potatoes and peas in it. The peas have died off now, um, but the potatoes are still there. So I'm going to cover that later. The tyres and a paddling pool. And I'm going to cover that bit as well when we get these rotators up. I wanted to end this gardening collab outside, but it's chucking it down. <laughs> so you have to make do with me in half. Um, what I was going to say was, you know, you know I've had to order my potato seeds, onion seeds and pea seeds already for next year because uh, the shortages, I think I said already um, the guy who's ordering them says you've ordered way too many pea seeds, you know, way too many and I was like, in for a penny, in for a pound, ordering me because last year, well not last year, this year <laughs> I had trouble getting all the pea seeds and the thing is, everything did really well that I grew last year. This year, because we've had so much rain, all my all my go-to stuff has grown and a lot of other stuff has failed. And I was thinking, I saw on the news, but I don't know, this is the only place I've seen it, so I don't know if it's true or not, but it, I suspect it is, that in France now, nah, I need a vaccine passport to go to the supermarket. That's how bad things are getting in some parts of the world. And it just makes me uneasy. And it makes me feel like I should be making more of an effort to grow more. I mean, I've got potato, I've got a stash of potatoes, still some in the ground. I've got a stash of onions. Um, but thing, the other things that always do well, that, do, that, I, that don't always fail, um, sorry, it's Pudge coming looking for his coat because <laughs> it's raining. That's it. Is it dry? Alright. Um, I'll see you in a minute. Love you. Love you. The things that always do well, apart from potatoes and onions, like peas, strawberries, raspberries. Uh, blackberries I never get to take home because the kids just eat them on the allotment no matter how many you grow so I was thinking as well as trying to grow new things and they might take they might not I think I need to put real effort in into growing a huge amount of the stuff that that nearly always doesn't fail me it's like a huge amount of potatoes a huge amount of peas a huge amount of onions a huge amount of runner beans and um, really making the most of that so that's why I've ordered shed loads of pea seeds in case because it makes me feel better and all about things well not just the pandemic stuff it makes me feel better anyway when I'm bringing food home that I've grown to store so that's what I'm planning on doing if the rain will stop that's the other thing that, and I've got my greenhouse now so I'm hoping I can some things will be more successful next year because I've had to go to greenhouse now because the weather in England is just so unpredictable um, the other gardening collab channels are in the description box below. If you're just here for the gardening collab, I'll see you next month. If not, I'll see you next time.